Top 4 Creepiest Abandoned Places in America Bloomington Charlestown, Indiana Gary. One, Nightridge Observatory Bloomington. Back when Bloomington was still relatively rural, it was thought that this site would be the perfect spot for this small observatory. Unfortunately, as time went on, civilization slowly started expanding towards the observatory, interfering with the delicate instruments within the telescope. Eventually the telescope itself became obsolete, and rendered this observatory useless. Although it's been gutted on the inside, you can still see where the dome used to rotate to adjust and find various stars and constellations. 2. The Indiana Army Ammunition Plant Charlestown Once the world's largest smokeless powder plant, the Indiana Ammunition Factory slowly fell into disrepair after the demand decreased. While many various companies and entities tried to keep it running, it ultimately ceased production after 1960. Unfortunately, the remnants of these plants are slated to be completely demolished by the end of the year, and another piece of Indiana's history will be left in the history books. If you want to see what's left before it's all gone, you can catch the process near Charlestown. 3. Silverville One of the only true ghost towns of Indiana, Silverville was founded in 1855. Unfortunately, hard economic times forced people from its confines and onto greener pastures. While there are a few spread out, more modern houses in the area, the original town is completely abandoned. The roots are falling in and the wood is warped, but you can still kind of imagine what this little town used to look like before being claimed by the land again. Ghost towns are always an unusual sight to take in. 4. City Methodist Church Gary There's always something extra hair-raising about an abandoned place of worship especially a place that has the massive size as the abandoned City Methodist Church in Gary. The pews lay in piles, completely destroyed. While the sunlight still shines through the stained glass that hasn't been broken, there's very little to find uplifting in a place like this. Even stranger is the fact that the place fills with snow in the winter because snow pours through the various openings around the church. To take in the full effect of this spot, we recommend coming in after a heavy snow. It's definitely a haunting experience.